Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hope you had a great and exceptional Wednesday. Today's word of the day is mulch. Uh, um, M-U-L-C-T um, stands for um, to find someone or the money you collect as a result of a fine. So basically um, having to pay a fine, like, you know, tickets, uh, parking tickets, speeding tickets, things of that nature. No one wants to pay an extra um, mulch to the city. And the reason why I chose this word today is because, you know, living in a time when inflation is on high, cost of living, everything is on high, everything's overpriced no matter what you get nowadays. So being able to be more cautious in regards to, i.e. speeding, i.e. ensuring that you don't have to pay, a, you don't get a parking ticket, um, i.e. Um, ensuring that you don't waste gas, you don't waste um, food, you know, because having to pay extra for anything that's not that enjoyable just doesn't make sense in the world where everything is overpriced. Just my personal opinion. But hey, I could be wrong. Today's quote of the day is by the Wu-Tang Clan. He said, they stated, and remember, the only players change. The game stays the same. I could not agree with that statement more. We're all going to die. We live, we die. The cycle continues. And other people um, come into existence. And um, the players... The game, the game is, the game of life is, is chess. Most people play checkers because checkers is just very black and white. Chess is more subjunctive. It's more of a gray area and there's more, um, it actually shows the game of life. With checkers, you just, you know, it's just, it's black and white. Hey, I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna go to college. I'm gonna pay bills and I'm gonna die. With chess is, I might get educated. I might not. I have, I'm going to approach life from a Robert Kiyosaki, AKA rich dad, poor dad lifestyle. Um, I might have a job, but I'll definitely have a business and I have some investments on the side. I'll ensure that money's always working for me regardless of what time of day it is. The circle of people that I surround myself with will have the same mindset or will want to have the same mindset. Um, and so that I can put myself in the king slash queen position, I may start off as a pawn. All right, but I the objective has become a, a part of a economic kingdom in order for me to be able to make the rules um, work out in my favor. You know, I always say rich people. One one quote that Nineteen Keys said that I love that I remember hearing back in twenty twenty one, and he says he said this. I think this is at the first and best fest in um, in Atlanta. Uh, I went to Invest Fest last year. I will be going to Invest Fest again this year. 19 Key said, and I quote, rich people lobby, poor people vote. Regardless of what party you want, um, you vote for, you don't vote, whatever, I don't care. But he said, rich people lobby, poor people vote. In the United States of America, being a great country that it is, the people that write the checks are the ones that make the game, so therefore the people that write the checks are the ones that are the kings and queens of the game, game of life. But... People think that that's not true and don't want to accept that. And therefore, they still want to act accordingly by playing checkers. So um, being able to become a, a, a game changer instead of just being a regular player in the game of life, of, in the game of economics. You have to be able to think outside the box. You have to be able to implement things outside of the box. And you have to be able to associate with people who want to think outside of the box. I always seem to find myself around a lot of smart people a lot of times, but I'm always around, surrounded, unfortunately, by a lot of people who are into intellectual masturbation. Now, it's a crude term, but it's one of my favorite terms to use. Why is it one of my favorite terms to use? Because when a person, quote unquote, masturbates, I'm not going to get too detailed, but they're not doing, they're, they're giving themselves pleasure, but they're not actually engaged with somebody else. They're not building a bond with somebody else. They're not even having fun with somebody else. Only fun they're having is with themselves and in their mind. Same thing with I like when um, it comes to intellectual masturbation. Now, you are actually engaging on like so people will do this in person or people will do this online. You are engaging um, in intellectual discussions. However, the intellectual discussions that you are engaging in has no game plan, have no um, instructions of saying, "Hey, what are we going to do about making things better." What is the implementation? What is the bottom line? It's no. Let me prove how intelligent I am by 
arguing over things like I'm a rich paid politician or news news anchor and in hopes that I can prove my point and prove you wrong. Or be able to have this conversation with somebody who I'm hoping that you agree with me and then we can stroke each other's ego. That's what intellectual masturbation is with no way of moving forward and implementing anything of significance. I don't know about you all. I'm over that. But those people always seem to come around me. So do your best to get away from those people who just want to be players, who just want to be pawns. Get around people that are trying to get it in until the break of dawn from an economic standpoint, whether it's businesses and investments, thinking outside of the box. So on that note, do the great TV things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a great night. As I always say, make money moves or you're going to live real like a fool. Take care.